apparently this is a series that's been around for a while and on a bunch of platforms. I'm telling you, I googled Castle Clout and saw like a thousand different things. Flash games, sequels, mobile, something called Return of the King. I guess that's like Angry Birds the Middle Earth Edition. I don't know, I, I have no idea. What I can tell you is, if you like Angry Birds, you might like this. It's Castle Clout 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. So this is a brand new release in the eShop, and the latest in the Castle Clout series. I mean, I guess it's a series, there's a thousand of them. Anyway, as far as its gameplay goes, it's Angry Birds with Castles. And winches. And wenches. To the winch, wench! No luck dragons to be found. Nonetheless, it's really that simple. You knock out the enemies with projectiles, you destroy the structures, kill the dudes, win the level. Ergo, Angry Birds. Now, if you have played Castle Clout before, uh, you might be wondering what makes this one different. I'm gonna be real honest and tell you I have no idea. I've never played these games before. What I can tell you is that this one has more than 150 levels scattered across five different worlds. So it's kind of a huge game. What I can say is whether or not these are actually new levels or if they're like pulled from other games. But if you've never played them before, it's not a problem at all. These are really fun, really challenging puzzles. And they'll appeal to anyone who still sinks hours into Angry Birds. Of course, regardless of whether or not the content's new, the platform certainly is, and the 3DS seems like a natural fit for Castle Cloud. And as the title suggests, it starts with the graphics. All the action takes place on the top screen, so this really is Castle Cloud in 3D. The effects look great, mostly because it's just a great looking game. The backgrounds are really well done, creating a beautiful backdrop for what you're doing on the touch screen. And that's the other advantage of the 3DS, the touch screen. There are some things you can do with buttons, but playing with the stylus just feels right. You can adjust your aim, swap weapons, move your catapults, all with touch. So it's really intuitive, really easy to play, and accurate as well. Stylus lets you make very subtle adjustments that can be all the difference between crushing your enemies and, and crushing your allies. Poor bastards. They probably wish I was chucking birds. You know, it's not like this is some amazing looking game, but I really do like how it looks, and one of the reasons is the kind of juxtaposition of the obstacles and characters, which have this almost Super NES look, and the backgrounds, which are beautifully painted. So it's a nice little effect. It provides both a pleasing visual, and it also doesn't distract from what you're supposed to be looking at. It's just really nicely done in terms of its graphics. So the game definitely looks good, it plays well, and again with 150 levels there's, there's really no shortage of content here. The campaign mode's huge, and it's really challenging too. And the cool thing is that as you play the campaign, you actually unlock content for the other modes, one of the coolest of which is the castle creator. You can actually create your own level from scratch, customizing every last detail by the pixel. And then you can save your creations and play them yourself, which is awesome. Of course, some online sharing would be even better, but still, it's a great mode for this kind of game. You know, I, I guess the question is, if you could play this game for free in plenty of various versions, is there a reason to pay for it on the 3DS? Even if it has a cheap price, which it does, it's only five bucks. And I guess that depends on the player. If you're a huge Castle Clout fan, or an avid Angry Birds player, this is totally worth the buy. It has everything you like about those games, and lots of it, as well as hot seat multiplayer. On the negative side, the music can get a little repetitive, and it doesn't have the polish or diversity of a game like Castle Storm. But for what it is, this game packs a solid punch. It's Castle Clout 3D for the Nintendo 3DS.